guys, Steam here. Um, just bringing you a little quick tip in Cinema 4D today. I was just uh, playing around and uh, noticed that there wasn't that many uh, glow tutorials, Cinema 4D glow tutorials on YouTube. Just thought I'd um, tell you about it quickly. It's only going to be a few minutes, but um, yeah, just going to like tell you about how to make objects glow and not having to go into a Photoshop and uh, add like an outer glow or yeah so you could do it all inside Cinema 4D so it gives like a obviously a much better um, re realistic kind of glow compared to say manually doing it in Photoshop so anyway we're just gonna recreate this sort of like simple scene with a torus and a sphere so uh, I've already got my um, a seamless floor and HDR studio rig from Grayscale Gorilla in the scene but you can use whatever you could use a floor and uh, whatever you don't really need a lot but anyway the objects I'm just gonna use a torus um, which is there uh, bring it up a little bit zoom out and these little lines on the outside you wanna bring in and just decrease the ring radius so it kinda looks like a really big like tire or something I don't know and then you just wanna like rotate that around a little bit make that look a bit nice could always like increase segments and stuff, but to be honest, I'm not really going to bother with that. Um, and then you want to bring in your sphere. I want to decrease that a lot. Um, scale that down. Scale that down. That should be all right. Go into your top view. Place that alongside in inside the torus, just so it gives it a lot nicer reflections and glows onto the torus because you might like miss that if you did it in 4D so you can always just scale that back up again and yep that's looking alright to be fair and materials I've got some loaded up here but I'll redo them all you've got to do is open your materials choose a colour um, you might want to put reflection on say let's do the uh, torus first and let's not worry about the glowy sphere uh, do your usual for now and bring that down quite a bit, you don't want it too reflective otherwise it starts looking horrible um, you just keep that as white, dump that on the torus zoom in a little bit move that sphere down, I don't want it poking up too much looks like a big donut really and uh, make another material for your uh, glowy sphere and uh, you can make that reflective as well but you don't want it too reflective again so maybe 7 and about 14 I like to make this colour like a bluey Wait a minute, wait. Um, yeah, you, sorry, you go into glow now, and obviously you've got your material that's glowing, um, and you've got the outer glow there, it's a preview, but you could always use the, um, choose a material, in choose a colour for your sphere inside the glow tab, which makes the glow obviously stand out a lot more, and you can just play around with the brightness this way, easier, brightness of the glow, and see if I wanted it there, it'd only just be, but there it's like very bright. And so yeah, it's the inner strength, so how much it glows onto the um, actual object, the sphere in this case. And so the radius shows how far out the um, glow is going to be. So yeah, so once we've got that, you want to come into uh, render settings. Um, object glow will be automatically added as soon as you've added it in the material browser, um, in the material tab, sorry. And then just open up your global illumination, you know how you do it. And unit occlusion and what have you. Um, just play around with the render settings and add these onto your sphere. I've got a few more renders I could show you here as well. So just let that render quickly. Low settings, not going to look great. And uh, got a nice HDRI going on and, um, using the HDR Studio rig. I really recommend you buying that because that is a, a great purchase to be honest. It's helped me a lot out in my Cinema 4D work. Um, so this is just coming together, you can notice it's not glowing at the moment, it's a post effect and so it activates it after it's rendered and there you go it's rendered nicely, you can obviously see the glow now compared to when it was rendering and uh, I'll show you a few more examples, it's a lot a lot more brighter, if that makes much sense just deleted the wrong one um, there you go, see what that looks like Sorry I haven't done a uh, Cinema 4D tutorial in a long time, I don't know what, I've just been busy with, uh, I don't, just like exams and schoolwork and stuff, so uh, thank you for keeping in touch and uh, staying with me guys. Um, 
thank you for posting all your GFX weekly results in as well. Uh, not results, I mean um, entries, video responses. Keep them coming, and the deadline's coming up. So uh, yeah, keep it going. And this is just another example. Obviously, the radius of the glow, radius of the glow, isn't is um, wide, so it just stays nice to contained inside the torus. But um, yeah, you can guys can just go play around with that. Um, mess about with the settings, HDR, um, image, you could change, play around with that and that obviously gives you a lot better results if you've used higher render settings and stuff but this is just a simple quick tip tutorial and uh, a lot more coming soon. Alright then guys, thanks, take care.